Higak Tetsua, Higak Sensei. Thank you to be here. Yeah, thank you. I want to talk about your translate about Primeiro de Castro. Yeah, yeah. At that time, we talk, uh, wrote, wrote about uh, on this book and uh, why the Bibelius uh, Castro is, uh, is so interested in the Druid Catholic philosophy. And uh, so that is, uh, yeah, that is a uh, reason why I started to translate yes. this book into Japanese. But, but another reason is that uh, in, in, the, in, the academic, in the academic world of uh, Paris, uh, France, uh, many, many uh, researchers of Jules Gattari is to, uh, was, was talking about uh, Vivier's Castle's book yes. and this book. And so I translated this book from French. And uh, not from Portuguese, yes, yes. Uh, from French, French, French to Japanese. Yes. Uh, the, I can't read uh, Portuguese. <laughs> yeah, Portuguese. Uh, yes, don't, yes. don't, don't. So, but, but I asked directly to Viveros uh, Castro, and yes. uh, he he replied to me that uh, my this is a French version. Is a uh, French version is a uh, yeah just like a original version. Yes. Uh, that's okay. Yes, uh, yeah. uh, what I think is interesting that is Viveiro de Castro, Brazilian anthropologist, yeah. have the original at French yeah. and the yes. Japanese translation come first than the Portuguese translation. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> and there is uh, what I think about, and, uh, well, and, and there is shown a thematic when, when, when you read this uh, cannibal metaphysics, uh, and there is a really, really beautiful book. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very beautiful. Yeah, it's with, the editor. It's yeah. the editor uh, who made, who made from... this kind of book. <laughs> yeah, uh, and many the the, he, uh, the editor of this publisher is a designer. Yes, but it's a really inspired book. When yeah. I see when I see this image with the yeah, the okay, fork, okay. Yeah. with the butterfly. Ah. <laughs> but I I I think directly uh, with. Uh, we can try some main connections with Vivero de Castro mm -hmm. and the thing from Chuan Tzu. Mm -hmm. Because when I see this butterfly on the wall, this perspective is... Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I, I see, I understand. I understand, yeah. But I think that the designers think that it is a image of uh, uh, Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> so, but it, uh, yes. I, I, I can't, I don't know that is a real image or... And the <laughs> But I, I am sure you have uh, a really beautiful ten uh, the German verse will be because with no image they don't try to put ah, images here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. Book, books in France yes. uh, in German is just just uh, yes. a simple one. <laughs> yes, and there is really on, and what what I think that's amazing and that is uh, we are here with a really big conference uh, we try from, from, from the mind way I try to make some intercultural philosophy yeah. more than just Japanese yeah. and you all study and, and know Levi-Strauss mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah uh, uh, just as a uh, spe specialist by French philosophy I read the uh, Rebistros, of course, but, but, but I'm not a specialist of Rebistros. Yes. I'm a specialist of uh, Henri Bergson and uh, Gilles Drews and uh, Michel Foucault. But uh, I'm very interested in the anthropology. Yeah, it is a movement of the same yes. age of Jules Gattari and uh, Jules Gattari, yeah, quoted many phrases from yes. uh, Rebistros. So I, I have to, I, I think that I have to read <laughs> Rebistros. But uh, there is one condition. Uh, there is no translation of mythology. Uh, mythology, yeah, very big, big, big book of uh, Rebus yes. uh, into the Japanese. Mm -hmm. It takes about um, 30 years. <laughs> 30 years. Uh, the somebody started to uh, translate the mythology of Rebus into Japanese, but uh, yeah, 10 years, no, 10 years, yeah. no, 10 years. No. But, but it is after the uh, 2010, uh, and uh, yeah, it's perhaps 30 years. Uh, yes, uh, uh, 30 years passed, and after that, the uh, translation of mythology appeared, and it's a very, 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 very big book. So, I, I yeah, yes, truly say I tried to read it in French, but uh, yeah, it's too big, <laughs> too big. Yeah, and many, 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 many names of the people, many names of the people uh, in Brazil. I, I can't understand, and many. 
place name I yeah. can't understand. So, so that uh, I can't read. Uh, it in French. When when so. you talk about misogyny, you talk about the mythology. Ah, mythology, mythology, mythology. Yes, mythology. yes, mythology. Yes, mythology. Yeah. yeah. But what I think, uh, because Levi Strauss started his career in Brazil. Yeah. Uh, with okay, 27, uh, he found there. On when he lived 100 years, no, 101. Mm -hmm. On the last three writings from Levi-Strauss about Japan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. About Japan, yeah. It's about Japan. Yeah. And then you have Viveiro de Castro is, uh, we can say, like this continuum from the work from Levi-Strauss. Mm -hmm. He, he, he say that mm -hmm. about his work. Oh, yeah. But one half of this is Deleuze. Mm -hmm. He have from the cannibal metaphysics a yeah. lot from Deleuze. Yeah. I think. And I think it's the reason because uh, you you translate mm -hmm. is how you have the experience with this translation with this kind of uh, Amerindian philosophy or with this uh, Amazonian perspective. Ah, uh, yeah, you? yeah, yeah. They are they are thinking that the kind of the naturalism, uh, kind of naturalism, not not the cultural construct constructivism. He wants to say the, some perspectivism. And he wants to change uh, the mainstream of the uh, 20th century, that it's the cultural relativism. Uh, but he wants to change the movement, that there's a nature and there's a multinaturalism. Yes. Multinaturalism is his main point. But I think that this, uh, this uh, pro pro proposal uh, of Viveris Castle is very similar to what uh, the Dulles Gattari want to say about the materials or ecosystem. Well, Gattari, it's Gattari. Uh, it's mainly Gattari who talks about the ecosystem or some. Uh, Gattari is a, a semiology. Yeah, it's very special semiology. <laughs> it's not ordinary semiology. E eco semiology. Uh, yeah, that, that has some uh, very, very deep relationship with what uh, Bibel's Castle says. But the another point is that uh, he, he, he says that he writes this book. It is, uh, uh, it is to the owner, owner of the uh, but at the same time, at the same time, he wants to say anything against them. <laughs> and uh, he says that it is anti-narcissism. 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 Yeah, the oh, yeah, yeah. First, he, he, yeah, first he has written that, uh, first he wants to uh, uh, write a big book, uh, which name is Anti narcissist anti narcissist uh, anti narcissist is uh, it seems to me that uh, another book of anti Oedipus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Anti Oedipus is a Druid and Gatta book, but uh, he, he wants to write the anti narcissism. And anti narcissist is an uh, anti European, uh, yeah, Greek and Roman and uh, Christian yes. oriented sort. Uh, yeah. Uh, Gattari uh, criticized the, the o o Oedipus, but that is only in the in the world of the uh, Western world. Uh, yeah, Christian Christian uh, Christian tra traditional world. But Bibers uh, Castle he lives. I I don't know that uh, um, his ancestor is a European or not. I, I I don't know. I don't know. But uh, he says that his his mother and his father can speak very good French. So that he belongs to the very, very higher classes, <laughs> higher classes. So he can speak, of course, French, French yeah. and, uh, yeah, and English or Spanish or Portuguese. Uh, so, so, uh, so, but, but I don't know, but, uh, who, who, who is his ancestor? But he says that he is now living in Brazil and, uh, the, yeah, he can read the French so that he can understand the fact uh, Revestro says, and what Druze Gattari says, uh, in the Ama Amazonian world, but he, he would like to, uh, another, uh, he would like to, he would like to, uh, speak by another voice, another voice, and from the perspective of Brazilian, yeah, just the Brazilian world, how the Brazilian can describe the European world? Uh, that is, that is an anthropologist did not, did not do, uh, 
uh, until, until now, uh, it is always a subject of uh, who describes the world as uh, European people, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Anglo Anglo-Saxonian people, or the French French anthropologists who goes to the Australia or ja to Japan <laughs> or to Asia, or Amazon or Africa, and uh, describe something. But now in the age of the globalization, <laughs> yeah, it is the age that the non-European people uh, describe uh, what the European people is thinking. That is a, a, a reverse, uh, yeah, just a reverse vision, a reverse, re reverse vision. And uh, so, and uh, perhaps Druze uh, and Gattari want to do uh, the thing like that and Foucault, also Foucault. Foucault, Foucault he want to, he want to escape from uh, France. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, true to say, uh, there is a, uh, there is a chance that he, uh, come to Japan and uh, become a professor of the Tokyo University, and he he he, he wanted to be that, but the go go government of France uh, did not permit that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so uh, he, he wanted, yeah. So, but I think that in the, in the French people in the sixties, sixties French thinkers want to uh, re relativize, want to relativize what the European society is. It is their desire. So that Bibliothecus uh, has realized from the outside of the European society the what, what the, the we can see the world uh, like this. And so that, uh, I think that the most important, uh, most important concept in this book is anti narcissist anti narcissist that, that is a birth of the anti Egypt. <laughs> in, 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 yeah, there's an attack. And the other, other concept is the, the enemy. Enemy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in that book, he, he talks about the concept of enemy is very important in the Amazon's world. And the enemy is a uh, principal, principal, world, uh, principal of the human relation. But from the Greek tradition, uh, it is a uh, uh, friend, ami, ami, uh, in friend, uh, friend, Friend, friendship, friendship, always friendship. Friendship is a, a main word uh, in the European society. Uh, it's moral or it's ethics, yes. and so that. But it is a Greek, uh, just a Greek concept. In Amazonian concept, it's the enemy to eat the to eat the fresh, <laughs> to eat the fresh uh, of yeah our enemy and to to be the. Yeah, same thing. It is a shaman, shamanistic way, but, but this concept is totally different from the uh, European, European concept. And so uh, I think that this perspective is very important for us in this global world. Yes. Uh, this is uh, the, my first re 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 reply to your yeah. question. No, no, no. First, no, first uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, you maybe I just to hear about you knew a little enough about Viveiros de Castro. What's I'm surprised? Oh, I see. I, I I know you because you all translated this. Then yeah. I make some research. Yeah, yeah, but, but it's with a young anthropologist. Yes. Not not only me. Yes, yes, with, yes. With a young anthropologist. But then come the first your uh, your work about Nishida yeah. and Deleuze. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, can you say a little about yeah. this this relationship between Nishida and Deleuze? Uh, I'm Japanese, so, so that I'm not that. That's good to know. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah. I'm Brazilian, yeah. You are Brazilian. <laughs> we are not the fr French. <laughs> we are not the French, but we are reading the uh, Fr French French books of the French thought, and uh, so that uh, yeah, from from the yes. from the beginning of the modernization in Japan, uh, yeah, everybody speaks about Kukishuzo, uh, yes. uh, Nishitani, uh, Nishida. Yeah, they 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 are demanding, uh, they they are asking themselves that uh, what 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 is it meaning to be the modernization? What is what? Why do we have to translate many books uh, with German ideology? Kant, Hegel, Heidegger, Husserl, and uh, many, many French thinkers, Bergson or so, uh, at that time, yeah, Nishida. Uh, after that, the Mero Ponti Sartor, and uh, after that, Deleuze, and Deleuze, Foucault, and Mistros. And uh, yeah, they, we are all, always, always asking to myself that why we have to translate <laughs> the European thinkers. But, but that is, um, in the age of the modernization, 
Zerznozove, Paps, Paps Zerznozove. But uh, yeah, I'm now, uh, I'm now situated, yeah, is the Japanese philosopher, uh, all of the Japanese philosopher is situated in the same situation as Bibelus Castro. We are uh, totally outside of the world of the French society or German society. To totally outside, yeah. Uh, yeah, I have a, ch a chance to live one year in Paris, but uh, that, that is just, uh, just so. <laughs> I, can, I cannot be a... We are not European. <laughs> we are not European. <laughs> that yeah. means that we... we, are we not, yeah. 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 And uh, so, that I think that uh, to think of with Nishida, uh, that is very important thing is that from the outside of the Europe, that, that's just like a viewer's castle. How we can talk? Uh, how we can uh, talk, uh, accept uh, the European sort of, uh, in the, in the people, uh, not, not, uh, we, we don't have the origin in Greek, we just like Heidegger. <laughs> no, but uh, perhaps we have our, our mental, mental origin in old China or old India. And uh, so that, uh, oh yeah, fundamentally, we cannot be a uh, uh, European people. We are East Asian, East Asian culture, East Asian people. And but uh, from the point of view of the East Asian people, and, uh, and now uh, I think that we can, uh, uh, in a way, ob ob object object objectivize objectivize the uh, sort of the. Uh, European people just as uh, Jerusalem military and uh, Bergson or so. Uh, that is just the same situation on, in, in Nishida. Yes. Nishida. Nishida. But Nishida, yeah, there is a problem, a uh, uh, special speciality. Uh, in the age of Nishida, uh, it is, uh, it is before the Second World War. Uh, so that, uh, they, they can, uh, they can imagine uh, very, very much things. Very much the same. So, yeah, the, uh, Nishida did not translate any books. Uh, Nishida never goes to ab abroad. Yeah, Nishida's discipline, yeah, Miki Kiyoshi or uh, Kuki Shuzo or, uh, or some Watsuji, uh, they go to the German or uh, France uh, or uh, many countries and bring many books and translate uh, many, many, many European concepts. Stuff. Yeah, <laughs> many concepts. But Nishida, he says, he <laughs> says in Japan, and uh, perhaps he can he can read German, but uh, uh, but perhaps his German ability is not is not so high. But uh, he thinks uh, he he can he can understand what the uh, essence of the European philosophy, and he want to express this sort in Japanese, and it is a very important thing. And after the Second World War. We are occupied by United States. So, <laughs> so we, uh, so uh, until my age, and I was born in uh, 1964. That, that is that means that uh, the after the end of the World War, after the 25 years or of the uh, end of the Second World War. Uh, but we are uh, for for 10 years occupied by United States. So that. Uh, uh, our academic world, uh, in our academic world, we can say about the Japanese philosophy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The American, American, America forbidden yes. uh, to think what is Japan or Japanese philosophy. Or, or if one wants to talk about the Japanese philosophy, he is a fascist. <laughs> he wants to be the uh, fanatic fascist. Yeah, he, he, uh, he uh, estimates the Japanese tradition. But, this this age has end, ended. The, yeah, after my age, the younger people, younger generation is more so. And we, uh, yeah, j just just now we have to speak about the uh, Japanese. What is the Japanese philosophy? Without thinking uh, the some political uh, context. Yeah. So as you know, the some of the Kyoto schools uh, member uh, uh, contributed to the. Uh, f fascist government. That, that's right. Uh, Nish, I think Nishida is not so. Uh, but but um, Miki is a communist and Tosaka Jr. is a very, very uh, extreme, extreme uh, left wing activist, but they, they are killed. They are killed by the military. So that Kyoto School is not the uh, fascist, fascist movement, but uh, it is certain that some of the members, some of the members are 
uh, yeah, uh, have much, much to do uh, with the government of the fascist, fascist government in the world. It's just like a German, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Heidegger's problem with Nazi. <laughs> yeah, the same problem, same problem in Japan. But after the, after the 50 years, after the 60 years uh, of uh, the Second World War, and now, um, now in this age, uh, in our generation, we can talk uh, without thinking of this political uh, context. Uh, without, and what the Japanese person, what they did. And so that, so that uh, for, from, from my generation, I think that I can't, I can't create uh, the true Japanese philosophy uh, in, in Japanese, uh, true Japanese. Before my age, everybody is translating the uh, yeah, Husserl's Eden or Heidegger's uh, book <laughs> into Japanese or uh, many, many French, French mode, in mode, so into Japanese. And they, they didn't think, uh, what, what does it mean to the uh, in our age. Uh, but after that, uh, in the age of globalization, um, we have to think that uh, why uh, just being in Japanese and uh, learning the French thought and uh, talk something in English or French, that, that, that would be the worst problem. That is the same situation uh, in Bivere's Castle. And there is nice, yeah. nice, nice tribute. Ah, yeah. <laughs> That's good. Higak Sensei. Yeah. Domo arigatou gozaimashita. Yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much.